Hi F2Ps, it's Goodfellow here from F2P.com and today we are checking out Path of Exile from Grinding Gear Games. Uh, it is, if you're not familiar, because it's a pretty old title, a free-to-play action RPG. Um, you basically choose a class character and you are on a prisoner ship uh, inbound for the cursed continent of Rayclass. Um, and essentially you just get thrown overboard and you are left to survive or die, they're not really that bothered. Um, we have chosen the witch class, um, they, they burned down this witch's house so she basically killed a load of their children. Pretty, pretty dark but that kind of sets the tone of what the game is like. It is a very grim dark fantasy game. At the moment, we are at level 8, I believe. Let's have a look. We're level 8. So we've played for a good couple of hours now. Um, so whilst this is a first look, we're going to go over some of the stuff that we've worked out uh, as we've got up to this level, uh, as well as experiencing some new stuff. So we've just got into uh, this area called the, the Fetid Pool, and we've been tasked with killing all the monsters in the Fetid Pool. So we've actually not been in this area, so we're going to see some stuff that we've not seen before. So hopefully, quite cool. And uh, you can also, you know, already see that the the graphics pretty good for an older title. I think it has had a graphics overall at some point. Um, but before we jump into battle, we're just going to give you a little bit of an overview of just how the game works with the general customization. So. Starting out with, you have different classes. You have the Witch, the Tempest, you have the Ranger, Shadow, Marauder, and a Duelist. I think those are the starting classes, as far as I'm aware. And uh, your choice of class will uh, determine a couple of things. It will determine, I guess, your, your basic default attack. So I can strike down foes with a powerful blow, and it is a ranged kind of like a ranged, um, not really fireball because I do have a fireball attack, um, but that is from a gem which I'll guess I'll show you now. So gems are uh, little items that you will find and you equip them in your gear. So this is some examples of some gear items. We've got some iron gauntlets that we've got equipped and given that we're a witch class we can at this stage equip most of the gear that we come across even though it's iron we're not specifically bound to only using certain types of armor um, but they as the kind of the gear gets better there are requirements so this you need an evasion rating of 22 the other classes are less likely to have that whereas some like larger plate mail armor or larger axes and those kind of weapons, you probably need a higher strength skill. So you've got intelligence, strength, uh, and dexterity as your main attributes, um, and then kind of like some subsidiary attributes that come off the back of those. Uh, so yeah, so you've got different abilities. You can see that they've got the, these different slots in them. So this has got two greens, which means it can have two green gems and a blue gem. Uh, so that would be more dexterity based gems, blue intelligent is kind of magic based I guess, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure how the color system works, I just know that there's three colors of gear, three colors of gems and three colors of stats. So they, they kind of tie in together. Then you have the fact that these uh, items themselves can have some abilities. So this shadow padded vest of thick skin, it's blue gear as opposed to this kind of gray gear. 18% uh, increased evasion and energy shield, 11% increased stun and the block recovery, and it's got one blue socket, so not great. The the passive abilities are pretty good, but the one socket sucks. Whereas this has got two uh, abilities, uh, two stones, and the 10% increased spell damage as it's passive. Now I could equip blue gems into uh, these sockets, and I could equip two blue gems, which would give me two abilities or buffs depending on what the actual gem does. The fact that these are linked means that these can affect each other. So if I had say, I don't know, a, a blue um, fireball spell like we have linked with a, I don't know, a multi shot gem, I don't know, something like that, then it might shoot two, two fireballs and if I change that into an ice blast attack, it might change it into 
two ice attacks. So the way you link your gems together gives you so many different options. Uh, we currently have three gems equipped into our main weapon. And there's no reason it can be in any of these items. Um, uh, so we've got raised zombies, which allows us to raise these three minions that you can see running around here. These are my guys. It shows you in the top um, how many I've currently got. Uh, summon the Raging Spirit, so that gives me a Q ability. Um, so yeah, it just, I, I can kind of spam this and summon. I can summon up to 20 Raging Spirits at a time. They last five seconds. And that is literally just spamming the hell out of that. Um, as you kind of level up certain abilities um, and skills, which we'll touch on in a second, you will be able to spam that a hell of a lot quicker and they will last a lot longer. That's why you can have up to 20. Um, so yeah, so and then we've got uh, our fireball attack. Again, gives us an extra skill. So we've got left click, right click, uh, no, left click, middle mouse click, right click. So that's what we've got for our stats and spells and stuff like that. There's other stuff I want to touch on, but I'm not going to do it just yet. Um, before we jump in, the last bit of customization I want to show you guys is the passive skill tree. So as we level up, we get um, skill points and we get to spend them in this skill tree. So we started here. We spend point on spell damage, spell damage, spell damage, spell damage, spell damage. Occultist Dominion, and then we've got Minion Damage, so our Minions deal 15% increased damage, and Minions have 10% increased damage life, uh, more damage, plus one maximum number of zombies, plus two to maximum number of skeletons. So it's a default of three zombies, I can now actually get four. Hadn't actually read that bit, hadn't realised, so that's fantastic. Um, now, one of the things is, is that as you can see, this is a pretty extensive tree more extensive if you zoom out and you look how many different abilities there are in the game. As we started as the witch, we start here. This is our starting point as the witch class. If we started as a different class, and I'm not sure where they correspond, but you know the, the berserker class might start there, the shadow might start there, the ranger there, etc, etc, etc. As the as the marauder, sorry, not the, not the berserker, as the marauder might start here, these might be kind of all based around um, improved physical attacks, uh, improved hit points, we could essentially spend our way into the Marauder's skill tree and make some kind of cool hybrid um, type character. We would still want to spend into our own tree as well, otherwise there's no point being a witch if we just want to get into the Marauder, well it would be a Marauder. But you can kind of start spreading around, you know, if there's a certain ability like this end abilities are really powerful so if there's something over here that you really wanted to get you could kind of like spend your way over there but then focus on this stuff over here. I'm not entirely sure how many points you get or what the level cap is but it's it's quite high that you can you can do some pretty unique abilities so with the amount of points uh, passive skill points here that are available um, with the different gear that you can equip with the gems that you can socket um, each of which actually levels up. You can see our gems that are currently um, here. They, they will level up from being used. It's pretty cool. Makes them more powerful. Um, there's so much customization for an individual character. You can do uh, so much stuff. Uh, we've got some potions here. So heal potions, mana potions, speed potion for us to run away. As we use these, by killing monsters, they automatically refill themselves, which I think is a really, really cool way to deal with consumables. So it's left click to move around, and left mouse button to hold it, and then it'll also be, it'll turn into a targeting thing when there's an enemy, I think, and then it'll be left click to attack them with our left click attack. Ooh. There we go, here we go. Middle mouse button, Woo! Yeah! Let's ravage these guys. There's quite a few of them. Cool, good, cool, good. So, we've got three re right click a, a corpse. Yeah, now we've got four of them. That's cool, man. Makes us even more powerful. As a, as a witch, uh, having these zombies to tank enemies for us has been invaluable. Oh, so he's a blue guy, so he's a little bit a little bit more difficult. Nothing major. Oh, they're, they're all blue guys, okay, so they're all a little bit more. Uh, a little bit stronger. Blue, slightly more stronger. Yellowy, orange, very, very powerful, I think. Um, okay, let's see. Well, anything cool here? Scroll of Wisdom we want. Um, everything else. I mean, there's some stuff that's, that's decent, but, you know, it's nothing major. So we can have our tab up. Let's kind of have another look at it. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Some really creepy stuff in this game, man. Uh, we can use our Q. These will give us these flaming skulls and they will just keep coming out. Boop, 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 boop. And it's... Eh, our mana's not doing too bad. They don't last that long. But yeah, we can just sit here and these things will just go in attacking stuff. Yeah, if we get a full, uh, full group of these bad boys, and they'll just go flying off and fighting anything. That's pretty cool. Oh, there you go, Earth Killer. So these... These are like named dudes. They're, it shows what abilities they have. Extra fire damage, accurate, powerful crits, undead. There you go. Did I just level up? Portal scroll, pick that up. Hey now. Oh, keep an eye on our zombies. We've, we've lost two zombies. Let's raise uh, two more. There we go. So while this is happening, I'm just spamming Q. You see my mana going down, but I can look, drink some of that so it's used some of it to top it back up, but then it'll slowly refill as we kill stuff, and we, we we could essentially, because we don't get into that much melee damage, if we wanted to, we could get rid of these and just get all mana potions straight across. You can choose what different flasks you want. You upgrade them and get new sizes. So we probably want at least one large life flask, just in case we ever did get kind of caught up. Um, but then we can just focus on the mana stuff, so we could really just spam our abilities a lot more. Uh, okay, so we've got some blue gear, which we'll pick up, for sure. There's that much gear that, that drops, you just don't have enough room to fit it all in your inventory. Um, oh, our... Uh, there you go. These are leveled up. Boop. Boop. So we've leveled up our gems, they're a bit more powerful now. Um, and that's portal scroll. Always not scrolls. Cool. Kill all the monsters. Smash these up. Chest. Anything in there? No. I'm presuming this water area. Oh, he looks big. Just taking a screenshot there. So just did stall a little bit. Let's get some of these bad boys. Yeah, we're up. We're up. So if we have a over. If I hold down shift, I don't move when I click, which is cool. Let's get some more skulls out. So he's got. Oh, he raises under as well. Okay, cool. Oh, we've got a necromancer off. Of. I think I'm gonna win, buddy. Oh, wow. Okay, so he's got some really cool gear. Uh, okay, so this is some yellow gear. This is yellow gear is pretty good. Two point too arrow. much clutter. Too much clutter. Okay. Okay, can't pick it up. So here's as good a time as any to uh, kind of show something. So um, we've got some gear here. I'm gonna, yeah, okay. This is cool stuff. Blue stuff is is worth a little bit when you sell it. Yellow stuff, I imagine, is gonna be even better. Um, but we've not got the gear to do it. So what we can do is use a portal scroll. <gasps> what? That opens a portal to town. So Lion Eyes Watch is our closest town in this area, and. We're gonna go up here. Do, 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 do. We're gonna go and see some NPCs. So let's speak to what Nessa. What I can offer is yours. Um, oh, actually, before we do, what we want to do is, because we don't know how cool this stuff is now. Um, some of this stuff is is no use to us at all, but it's unidentified. So I'm pretty sure I'm right saying if I wanted to sell this, she will give me five transmutation shards. Okay. Five transmutation shards. Now, if I use a scroll of wisdom, so it shows me all the cool stuff in it, she give me eight alteration shards, which are kind of worth a lot more money. She doesn't give me gold or silver or any coin currency because that doesn't exist in the game. It is a barter system where players and the player to player or player to NPCs in shops. They trade items for items because that is the way of Rayclast. It is this 
dark fantasy survival continent where you know economy is basically getting stuff that helps you survive uh, and these items uh, I mean from, I, I don't need this it's no use to me whatsoever um, I can't use it I don't have the strength to use it and yes yeah, it's, it's not gonna be any good for me um, but if I wanted to purchase items so if I wanted to purchase a larger life flask that's gonna cost me scrolls of wisdom Scrolls of Wisdom are what I've just used to identify these items. So again, these are items that I need and use, but I need to decide what is worth more to me. Um, plus 25 to Intelligence, that is based off, um, you know, one in an orb of transmutation. Well, you know, I've, I've not got um, that many of them. I've got one. This upgrades a normal item to a magic item. So again, what's more use to me? Apologies, just having a little bit of a cough there. I got so excited. Um, so again, it's just customization all the time with this game. Working out what you need, what you want, how's the best way to go about it. A medium mana flask, is that going to be useful for me? Well, yeah, because three scrolls of wisdom. And um, so now I have to decide what's more important. Um, so let's ID all this cool stuff. See this goat's horn. 17% increased spell damage, 1 to 5 lightning damage to spells, 12% increased. So those abilities are great as a, as a base weapon. Better than what I've got. Now I've got my three blue things in here, but I can put my blue uh, my blue spells elsewhere. So I'm still getting the benefits of them. And I can get rid of that and now use this better weapon. Now it gives me... Um, the 1 to 5 lightning damage to spells. So it's giving lightning damage uh, as well as my fire attacks. So, you know, pretty, pretty awesome weapon to have, even if it doesn't benefit me in other ways. Um, because we don't have any green gems to put in there. Scale vest, let's ID that. Scale vest, ID that. Chain gloves. Um, I think so, plus 12 to strength. Fire damage to attacks, better than what we've got. So let's put them on instead. We'll keep them, we'll not sell them. Chain belt. 9% increased elemental damage with weapons. Better than that. <coughs> sorry, I just got a bit of a cough all of a sudden. Oops, sorry. Okay. So I think we've ID'd everything, and then we can just sell them to her. See what we can get. So she's selling us scroll fragments. With five scroll fragments, we will get one scroll of wisdom. So it's a cool system. I really think it's been well thought out. Uh, but take into account, we've just, you know, we've spent a scroll, f uh, scroll of wisdom to ID some of these things, and we're not necessarily getting them back. We get some other cool stuff. So the lower the gear, um, yeah, that might be worth getting. I don't know. This once for physical damage to attacks, once for. Okay, so it's the same. It's the same ring. So we can sell that one. There you go. Get another scrap for it. Um, so yeah, it's it's a good way to customize it. Get rid of all our gear. Uh, oh, we didn't sell that. Let's sell that as well. I don't think we're gonna, ever going to use a buckler. Or do we use it for that one? <coughs> Ten percent increased range damage. Okay, that's better than that, I think. Oh no, because that's got that's got my gems in it. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but anyway, it's it's yellow gear. It's got some cool stuff in it, but it, it'll also give us a lot of gear. So these stacks build up, and then we could purchase uh, some of her large life flasks, large life flask of steadiness. So increases block and stun recovery during the flask's effects. So you got some really cool stuff in there. And she's actually selling us gear that we already had. By the look, of the, maybe we've sold her large mana flask. Cost three scrolls of wisdom. Okay, we could, we could go with that. <coughs> That's a pretty cool one. Um, and then we can sell that back to her. Uh, items to sell. And what will we get for that? There we go. A scroll fragment. That's fine. Uh, when you're in town, all your potions 
uh, refresh straight away. So there you are. So now we've managed to sell off uh, that stuff and our portal is still open. What? And it takes us right back to where we were so we can pick up the other cool stuff. <coughs> Which is pretty great. Summon up some zombies. Got any more dead bodies floating around? No. So there you go, that's kind of how uh, the system works. I think it's really cool. I love that you can... Because one of the things that I always hate with uh, MMOs is when you are forced to kind of n dump stuff or, or you have to go back to town and then go all the way back into um, back to a dungeon or an area uh, where you were originally fighting. So this... Um, there you go. Definitely makes life a lot easier. Uh, I think well, let's let's check my leveling up. There we go. So what what can we get next? <coughs> Means have ten percent increase life. Get some intelligence. Flask effects. See, even even just like generic stuff. Flask effects. How cool is that? Blast radius. Increased area of effect on area skills. Twenty percent increased area damage. Let's go with minion life. Let's make our minions stronger. Oh, okay. Uh, <coughs> wipe out the remaining monsters. Yeah, no, that's that's what we're doing. We're going for it. Oh, oh, these cursed, these tormented or something. I don't know. They've got they have, they've got a green thing hovering over them, which generally means you know, not great. That's the thing with the game, it just makes you want to cover every area. Ah, there you go. I knew there was tormentors. So that's what that green thing is. I, mean, I think it makes stuff a little bit harder. It gives different effects on enemies. Because there's some tormented spirit floating about. Let's get the arbor of augmentation. Let's open that chest. Anything? No, okay. Cool. Open this chest. Nope. And one of the cool things about my ability is that my fireball is that it has like a percent chance to uh, set stuff on fire. Hmm. I think that tormented spirit's disappeared. Will it come back? They drop cool rewards, I think, or they kind of make enemies have better rewards, something like that. Okay, I feel like we've covered uh, almost everywhere. We've been around here, okay, so we've done all this. So... Kill all the monsters. Well, I guess we've not. I guess we're still missing something. There we go. He's not the last of them. Here's somebody else. Oh, it might be my guys, that's the thing. <coughs> Obviously been over here. Hmm. It's no obvious area that oh maybe for this bit over here. So let's go all the way around. Just some connected area that we've not seen. just definitely got that Diablo have to run around everywhere until you find everything. Which is a little bit annoying. Hmm. I don't know whether the torment is to kill all the monsters in the fetid pool. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. And I feel like I've been everywhere in here. I'm pretty sure that's just the exit. The only thing that we didn't kill was the tormented uh, spirit, but I think that's just a generic thing. Well, I don't know. 
I mean, it's not not the best ending to the video. Just a lot of running around trying to find stuff, but. Oh, there we go. Ah, there we go. Four monsters remain, so it's telling me, okay. Huzzah! There we go. So, <coughs> again, because I've kind of found the boss with all the gear, um, it'd probably been better for me to. Um, actually, do you know what? I was going to say better for me to kill all that stuff. Complete the quest once I'd finished the boss, so that I wasn't using two portal scrolls. But it doesn't matter too much because there is a waypoint thing up here that lets you get to other areas if you need to get to them. So there you go. And then we complete our quest. <coughs> a necromancer. We've, We've got, got enough undead wandering, wandering around. around. We've got That's some raising more for us to deal with. Sorry. Well, good there to you see go. you don't mind getting. And we get uh, grants two passive respec points. Okay, so we can respec. I've travelled inland on the Emperor's Yeah, yeah, yeah. More, more stuff, more stuff. Yeah, got it, got it. This, there's so much lore in this game, so much talking, which is great if you've got the time for it and you want to listen to it all. And I would definitely recommend it because it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, right now not for us. But even kind of little books and stuff that you find are a little. Um, not temples, but like little shrines and things. It's all very cool. So there you go. That is pretty much everything you can expect from Path of Exile. Obviously, we're in the early portions of the game. I think the combat can be a little bit repetitive at times, maybe. But as you level up, you get more abilities, more gems, and that kind of stuff. Um, then I think it'll get more interesting as you're starting to fight enemies that are more of a challenge. And we have died once on the, in this game. Um, which is good that we died so early. I like that the developers have made it a little bit challenging. And I feel if we weren't trying to kite some of those enemies, they would have uh, obliterated us. So thanks to Trusty Zombies. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the combat can be a little bit repetitive, but I think it's all part and parcel of being an action RPG. Um, some of the battles are quite cool. There's some pretty decent boss battles. Uh, you can play with party, you can group up with people on the notice board, stuff like that. Uh, so definitely worth checking out. Free to play if you like the action RPG genre, then definitely uh, give it a go. So, that's everything. If you found the video useful and informative, then please give us a thumbs up now. Uh, you can hit the subscribe button to find out when we release any more videos, all sorts of news reviews updates from old games, new games, stuff in closed beta, alpha access, all that good stuff. Uh, make sure you hit the, the bell next to the subscription to uh, have the actual notifications pop up. Uh, or you can check us out on Facebook and Twitter at F2P.com or over our, our official website at www.f2p.com. So thank you guys for watching. As ever, I have been Goodfellow. As ever, you have been you. This has been Path of Exile, and hopefully we shall see you in the next video. Bye-bye!